I'll make a motion to approve all said measures. So moved. Support. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Carter? Yes. Mazur? Yes. All right, uh, next presentation approval, uh, <coughs> approval for the uh, June disbursements report of $336,963.52 and the electric wire transfer transfers of uh, $10,460.85. We have a motion to pay the bill. I'll make a motion that we approve the June disbursements before the June. Three six nine six three one five two and the electronic wire transfer is ten thousand four sixty eight. Support. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Riley? Yes. All right. Coming up, uh, communications I have done. Um, unfinished business. Um, from the Planning Commission, we have a recommendation to approve Ordinance 215, uh, Marijuana Home Occupation Grows. So Ordinance 215 on Medical uh, Marijuana Home Occupation now we, it was, was introduced and uh, it was approved by the uh, Planning Commission after a public meeting hearing on Wednesday, June 8th. Uh, they made a recommendation, recommendation to City Council that Medical Marijuana Home Occupation Ordinance 215 being areas zone R1A and R1B, single family residential. And uh, since it was originally introduced, we've made some amendments and some changes to it to make everybody happy with it. I don't know if everybody looked it over or not, but um, I think they get a motion to. Uh, what well, is that? That's what's in here right now, right? Right. Because I'm reading it says it's R1A and R1B. So. Yeah. Can I get a motion to adopt Ordinance uh, 215? Yes. Should we adopt it or is it introduced this time? Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Should we introduce it? Okay. Yep. All right, I'll make a motion. We uh, introduce uh, the uh, medical marijuana home occupation ordinance number 215 to be zoned with R1A and R1B as recommended by the Planning Commission. Support. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Larry, if you want, I can go ahead and read this too. On the, uh, well, excuse me, moving on to new business. Um, the master plan, uh, with the city's master plan, it's been a little bit better than 10 years ago that we wrote the new master yeah, plan. Yeah, it was in, um, yeah, it was in uh, 2012, I believe. And uh, the master plan uh, was revised, and, uh, and I think originally it was uh, 1998, I believe, uh, and then it was revised. And then uh, the zoning to the master plan was done, was started in 2015 and completed in 2016. And if you read my memo there, that it has, that our charter says it has to be five years, and if you read that, I, I get taken from the MML magazine, that uh, it don't have to be, it don't have to be revised, it only has to be reviewed by the Planning Commission. Uh, planning Commission may look at it, they like to only, uh, and that they're satisfied away with this, and, and their, their motion will, will, will state that. So uh, what we have to do to be in compliance with what we state in our, our own regulations is have the planning, planning commission look at it. So what I'm requesting is that council approve or make a motion to uh, have the planning commission review our master plan. So then I'll uh, I'll entertain a motion to send uh, to the uh, planning commission that they review our current planning uh, master plan for review to see if they have any. Thing that they would like to change or update uh, on our master plan. Um, I'll make that motion that the planning commission review the master plan for any revision or just review. Support. Schneider? Yes. 
support. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. If I could, I have a question. No. Uh, I was just curious where we're buying the guns from and what kind we're buying. Okay. Uh, so, uh, next up is new business number two. It's uh, the Mill Street uh, Bridge Inspection. This is a, how often is this happening? Well, uh, I don't know if there's any set time for that. I, I, we didn't have that, but we've got the, uh, we got this information, and I think there's documents in, uh, in your packet that reflect uh, what the state is requesting. I got a phone call or an email from him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, they weren't sure. aware of the bridge on Middle Street, and we have until December 1st to uh, complete the uh, an inspection and uh, check the flip yeah, zone. Yeah. And so wait, they weren't aware that we had a bridge there. Certainly right. not. That's what, what I remember. <laughs> okay. So I think it's in here. The text. Did, it, did we know we got one on, on uh, Bell River Road? I didn't want to volunteer to that, but I think so. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, they want to. Do we have to get a couple more books? It has to be evaluated for erosion, uh, load capacity, what it can handle, and uh, what erosion scour assessment. Okay. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, what kind of work do we have to do to get that bridge done? Do we have to Right. $5,200. If the state wants to inspect it, does the state not inspect them? No. We're, we have to supply that. And then the report we have to submit to the state right now wouldn't pass. Don't we call it an unfunded bank? Yeah. yeah. Did we get any of the prices? For the inspection? Yeah. Um, yeah, rather than just put it on the wall. I just knew that they designed it, that was installed, and we got issues with it. And you do have issues with it? We have issues with it, yeah. So it might end up costing more than 5200 Well, this is just to prepare the, uh, uh, doing the testing and such, and documentation to supply to the state before December 1st of this year. Do you have any idea how long that takes? I do not. Is there something we need to do with like an emergency right now? I we've got till December 1st of 2000. So we've got six months but then this I mean that goes by fast so. we need to get the wheels turning right now. <laughs> Well, so with that, begrudgingly, um, I'll ask if we can get an approval to uh, have DMJ, or do we want to put it up for quote? The, the I, green think, uh, I think that's kind uh, of the council. Put it out. But well, what's the timeline we would be looking at as far as getting the quotes back? I would make a phone call. Okay. Definitely. So before we do anything, this I'm. Uh, can I just make a motion to uh, to go ahead with the lowest price? Or do we have to wait for get the bids? I, I would get the bids. If you're going to put it out, I would get the bids. Okay, we'll uh, just wait for well, well, Another I'm, month is going to Yeah, so we we got, we've got to, well, of course, they have to come out with spectrum. It has to be done. Uh, yeah, I don't know what all. What kind of time so, do you know what the turnaround time was from when you contacted BMJ when they actually had a price for you? Was it like a week or two or was it longer? Well, that may have been a week. Because I forwarded that email to BMJ to But they say how soon they'd get out here to do it. I could um, do it tomorrow. <laughs> as soon as we sign it, but again, we, things need to be looked at and I would say should be done to it. I, I think we have Jane, right? I think we call everybody else and come out to look at it. <coughs> yeah, they're not familiar they're with not it, so they'd have to come up and look at it anyway. So this time. Yeah, so they'd have to come up and look at it. 
from the the NBA has the drawings on it. You want to put it out there? It was 2003 yeah. when it was put in yeah. or modified. Council wants to put it up. Put it out and give them a timeline. They want at least to get back to us one way or another. I just the timeline of when they DMJ, they're busy. Or very, very busy. A lot of road money out there, right? Whatever you wish. Like, yeah. A couple more contractors or engineers out there, I I would mind putting it on the DMJ because I'm familiar with it, but if Council wants to put it out for it, then it for We need to bid, put it out for bid. We can't then, just continually uh, go to DMJ just because we're need, familiar with them. Then, then I need a motion. Then we need a motion. Right? If so I want to bid it out, now I'm, I just should make a couple phone calls. That's all we're looking for, partners. Okay. So you make phone calls to see. So can so can I get a motion to uh, put out the uh, bridge inspection for Mills Street? Uh, do we get it put out for quote for I'd say minimum of three contractors, engineering outputs? Yeah, two more I would call. With time frames and uh, uh, yeah, how long? It I'm not getting out. Get out though. Know, so what it has to be done by? You know. Well, that's just we'll it. Go from there. We have the three and figure out how fast they can come, who can come out the fastest because that might be more of a priority than who's the cheapest. Based on what I know, yeah. I mean, it is an inspection, so it's not a uh, it's not a new construction that's coming out and taking a look at what we already have. Yeah. Based on your inspection will tell us what the... Uh, I'm just going to want to have it all done before spring, right? The job itself, whatever needs to be done. So this is I, an inspection. I yeah. Yeah. I think the report only has to be good to end up in December. Then. Yes. Then, yeah. So well, we could do it next, next week if we wanted to. We don't have to wait till December, right? To send a report. Don't have to wait till when? No. We don't have to wait till December to send a report. We can no, no, no. We right. they just, they just have to have it by December. Yeah, yeah. Just have to yeah. Have it by Good. Is there a motion? Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, put the inspection up a bit. Support. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Snyder? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Okay, Boardman Road. Reconstruction. Um, so we're seeing some pretty uh, big numbers as far as reductions of money that's coming to us. Larry, you want to touch on this? Uh, yeah. Um, we've got, uh, well, we got from, uh, I guess it was through the MJ, but then we notified them. Um, and the original cost that on this was uh, 507000 and uh, the federal, I mean, eighty percent was going to go with the federal money was four hundred five six, and Memphis had twenty percent was one one four. We got a, a, a in, information that it was going to be reduced by the uh, one hundred and three thousand and uh, two two hundred four, and so uh, and not that not only us that was I think part that was everybody was going to be reduced by the same amount. So that then made it 403.796, and uh, with the 80% uh, of that is 324.37, and the Memphis portion was 79.759. That won't do the road, of course. Uh, they were, the cost that we're kind of getting, the current cost is 608,000. What we got a meeting scheduled uh, Tuesday, no, I'm sorry, Thursday at 2 o'clock at BMJ. Which will be on the uh, Zoom with the uh, with the yes from the yeah go down the same yeah county so we'll get more information that I don't have we don't have all the information at this point but but it's just looking uh, at the um, five oh seven if that was the if that was our cost uh, they pick up sixty four percent and we have to pick up forty seven percent which is better. 183,000. <coughs> However, if it came in at 608, and that's, we don't know where it's going to come in, but if it did, uh, 
we'd be picking up uh, about 200, 284,000 plus the engineering. So the technically on that project, if even if it came in at 608, we'd be picking up about $372,000 on that. And that's an increase of uh, 182,563. Um, so what we gotta we gotta find some more information on it. So we're gonna have this uh, meeting, uh, Zoom or probably uh, whatever we have or whatever. And uh, when I get more information on this, I'm going to the council. Uh, I guess what we have to do because it's, 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 I don't know. See, originally uh, it wasn't it wasn't capped. So whatever it went over. We pick up 20 percent. I don't know if it's capped. It probably is. If they're reducing it, we don't know. So we got to find out a little more information. All right. And so to, uh, uh, Thursday, we'll find out a little bit more about it. We'll have to bring it back to council because uh, obviously we're spending a heck of a lot more money than we intended. Yeah. And, but there's the other thing is, if we wait, it's going to be more. But I don't know if we. Wait till next year if we go back to the 8020. I don't know. We just don't have enough answers at this point. So, this has been more or less information uh, on the reduced funding that's going to be the state. And yeah, so apparently they. They've uh, overspent. Well, I think they're overspent. They overspent, and of course, they overspent. Um, and uh, I think the costs went up significantly this year. And uh, who knows, next year they may go up again. Yeah. It affected all the rural communities. Uh, and I, I think, um, let's see, I don't, I don't know if I'm already, uh, Oh, yeah. Well, our, our, our current major fund balance as of uh, June the 30th last year was uh, about 393000 So we have a fund balance there. But the thing is, if you get hit to seventy four plus, maybe, you know, so. It's going to put a big debt in what we have in our funds. Yeah. So it's going to be a, I mean, we could cover it, but really and that's better. assuming that it didn't go over that, you know. And then right. we have to pick up the whole shot. So it's Thursday, you're having a, a yeah. Zoom meeting with yeah. Lindsey Wallace and a couple of people from Ed Rock, from my understanding. Yeah, and, 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 and BFJ engineering. And BFJ, he actually called me, pointed to Okay. So, so I'll, I'll bring it, when we get more information, I'll bring it back. I know uh, DMJ actually wanted the whole thing kind of done by August, but uh, I think they want to quote it either late this year or early next year, probably very early next year. I mean, MDOT will put it up. Yeah, normally at, at January at the latest. Yeah, so January. Is when they did so uh, I assume, if, well, if we have to have a special meeting, we'll call it, but I assume we can bring it back in August. Depends what we find out. All right. And so no action on this one. No, at this point. No. Moving on to new business number four. Chief, that would be you and your ability uh, to purchase a couple of new rifles and shotguns. Yep. So uh, the, the rifles and shotguns currently inventory is about the last of the old equipment that we have. Uh, since I started here, I made it to uh, replace everything besides that. Um, shotguns are aging, they need some work. Uh, rifles, I had no idea how old they are. They got a lot of, of rounds thrown, uh, they need some parts. So um, it's time to upgrade, and uh, I'm going to be selling the, the shotguns and the rifles, uh, replacing them with two brand, new, two brand new rifles, three brand new shotguns, and actually coming in a couple hundred dollars less than the money that I'm be selling for. So it was actually not at the end. So what I'm looking for is. Uh, Approval to do that and then take money from equipment replacement, purchase the new ones once we get them in service and all ready to go. Then I'll release the old ones and then put the money back into equipment replacement. Also, then uh, could I get a motion to approve the uh, purchase of two new rifles and three new shotguns for the total of $3,535? Um, the cost would be recouped after the sale of the other weapons that were killed. So, support. Smarter? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. 
All right. Next up, pistols. Okay, so I started down this path. Um, fortunately, uh, the guys in the department, myself included, are getting older and our sight's not as good as it used to be. So um, I started looking into taking our current duty pistols, which I purchased when I got here uh, in 2019, so they're only three and a half years old. Um, but modifying them with some uh, some red dot sights uh, to help the guys out that are wearing reading glasses. Hard to see. So, uh, but the cost of that um, actually exceeded what I found out I could get. I could sell the, the duty guns that I purchased in 2019 uh, for about $800 more than I paid for them, uh, three and a half years old. And then I could turn around and buy brand new uh, six hour handguns with the sights without having to modify them as I would with our current uh, weapons uh, for $765 a piece. So, again, selling them for pretty much break even and replacing the brand new units. <coughs> I have a buyer that wants the whole lot. I don't want to piecemeal it out. So he wants all nine guns. He can have them all. And again, taking the money out of equipment replaces to buy them up front. Once I sell the guns, once the guys are all qualified on them, uh, then I'll put the money back into the replacements. So I look at this. Um, so the cost of the pistols is forty-five ninety. It's going to be about forty-five ninety. And then another eight hundred dollars for roughly. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm waiting on an exact bid. I have three bids out, but talking to the six-hour rep, um, the cost of the unit should be seven sixty-five, regardless of who I'm getting from. So um, that's what they're going to run for the actual pistol itself. Yeah. That's, that's what the red dots are. Yeah, it's all set up, ready to go out of the box. The other ones I'd have to send out and mill, buy the stuff, ends up costing more money. All right, well, we'll try to keep it simple. Let's uh, look for taking a motion to allow the police department to purchase six new six sour, six sink sour pistols and millimeters and uh, sell the uh, nine blocks, the nine millimeters. Uh, with the cost coming out of the, I guess if there's any. Cost me if it's going to be a good I'll make that motion. Support. Maser? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Carter? Yes. All right. For the mayor. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. I, I made a note. <coughs> Uh, okay. Uh, invoice for the backhoe in the amount of $1,398.60. I need a motion to get it out. I need a motion to get it out. I need a motion to get it out. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. All right. Uh, coming up here, the note. I think you got this wrong. You're up in here. The month is the ninth, correct? Right? Of August. No, July. No, this Saturday. Saturday. This Saturday. Oh, it is this Saturday? Yeah. I guess I'm just like out of touch here because I thought that it was in August. Okay, so the Memphis Blues Festival is going to be on July 9th. Um, for more info, go to memphisbluesmichigan.com hey, or uh, Facebook page. Uh, Steve, did you want to talk about that a little bit? Show starts at 5. Yeah. Uh, Motor City Josh, we have a closing band. Golden Grove, it's been around for a couple years now, they do a pretty good job. <coughs> I have a couple of uh, single guys, you know, some like Delta Blues, not the Spike Blues, same earlier in the day. And the South Deck Band is 5 o'clock. Get a rib truck there, Great Lake Smoke House. Uh, there. So it'll be on site, and uh, it should be a good show. I've heard a little good thing about Motor City. It's been a long time. I've done quite a few awards for recording in Metro Detroit. Detroit to work every year. He's like won the last three out of four years. He's had a working band in the studio. Owner. He's a producer. So he, I'm hoping they'll bring a crowd in. So Are you fun. utilizing that portable stage you used before? Or? Yeah, I got, I got the guy bringing the stage in. That's, that's, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, I think that's 
gives it out more out in the field. You know, a little bit more yep. open, open space kind of closing under there. I think it sounds better. So, yeah, we got all those people coming back. Sound guy, it's all teed up. Just uh, woke up rain. Yeah, it does. We got a billion in water. So, yeah. Trim the stage a little bit. Yeah. Well, probably still right there. Let's go right under there, I'm sure. All right. Does that need to get hooked into that box out there behind it? The power yeah, box? Yeah, it's got all the power. Oh, right there. Okay. Easy enough to do, or it's got to be done by. No, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Plug and play? All right. Um, any candidates or lottery candidates um, that wish to run for our city office, we have uh, the mayor's seat and three council seats that are going to be up. Uh, can pick up your applications now. They have to be turned in by July 21st of 22 by 4 p.m. Also, we had the uh, the rest of our ARPA money come in. Our COVID money came in, so that's good. Good bills. Um, and this is for you, Anita, and new folks at NMC, NEMC Channel uh, 6 is having a difficult time getting enough camera persons to tape certain events in the area and could use some help from the public. Um, NMC is looking for people over the age of 18 to videotape local events that are made at Casco Township, Lennox Township, Richmond Township, and Memphis. You will be taught to use the camera and must have three supervised shoots before, before being compensated. Events include municipal meetings, high school sports, community celebrations, holiday programs, etc. Shoots may be on location or at the studio in Arvada. The programs are aired on, on Channel 6 and YouTube. If interested, contact NEMCTV6 at Comcast.net or by calling 586-784-0066. Thank you. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot. I'm looking forward to the Blues Festival. Um, and folks, you saw there's a whole lot of information in here for stuff to, to, to look at, and we can talk about this whatever. But, um, like when? When? <laughs> Give me a buzz with the chat. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get into a whole lot of you. There's a whole lot here to go into. We can turn it into a whole other meeting. I think that's something that we maybe at some point in time. Let me let me mull over all this stuff and maybe we'll go over some meetings together. All the information or something. There's, there's a lot of information stuff here. So I want to discuss it. Eric? I love it. I have nothing to Ken? Okay. Robbie? I just have a question, um, maybe because the chief is here and it's even better. But for the fireworks for the Muffet States, I know we had an issue last year that side-by-sides and golf carts come into town, but they're told they have to leave before 10 o'clock. And that's, is there a way we could do a resolution for maybe year by year for one night to let it to 11? That's something you guys have to decide. I mean, the ordinance is what it is right now. Right. So I don't know. That's, do you guys know the answer to that? How many people got arrested for that last year? Ticket. Everybody get pulled over? That one. Right. A few talking to's, I think. Okay. Yes. More point. than a few talking to's. That's okay then. All right. That's fine. That's all I have. May I ask, I, I couldn't, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said with, regarding parking, was it? I don't no, know. the golf cart. Side by sides in town. Oh, gotcha, okay. After, after, after 10 o'clock. Yeah, gotcha. It's just good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Motion to adjourn.